Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to this daily currency call where we share our analysis and ideas for a specific currency for each day. <clears throat> so today's Monday, we'll be doing the Aussie and Kiwi. So before we start the session, do help me with this poll. Just want to find out, is it your first time here? So just a disclaimer here while you guys are filling up the poll. This webinar is going to be very beneficial to both the long-term investors and short-term traders. We will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, and also highlighting potential targets and risk. So any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. Just a quick look at the poll. Um, yeah, we do have some uh, first timers here. So to help me with the next poll, how did you get here? So uh, a quick introduction about our speaker today. So um, Daniel is our speaker today. He's the coach in LCMS Traders Club, where he uh, teach and coach um, students to be a more profitable trader. He also engages in a lot of one-to-one uh, -one coaching and uh, public speaking to share his knowledge about uh, the FX market. So what he has to share today, um, do, do pay special attention as it will be beneficial to your trading for the day. Just want to take a quick look at the poll again. I see a lot of you coming in from the Telegram channel. So I just want to do a very quick sharing about <clears throat> what the Traders Club is about. So uh, yeah, this is our private um, platform where we teach, guide, signal, and coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. So this is the place to be regardless of whether you're new, experienced, part-time or full-time trading. So if you have joined us from the Telegram channel, which I see a lot of you coming in from, you have been enjoying our trade signals absolutely free. But the question you might have here is that we have told you when to get into a trade, but you do not know where to exit. So in the Traders Club here, we normally give you the signals earlier, um, five minutes earlier to be exact than the Telegram channel. We also tell you the strategy behind the signals accompanied with charts and telling you um, where to secure your profits. So these are features that you don't get on the Telegram channel. And this platform comes with a mobile app. So you get the early signals directly on your phone. So why do we do this, you may ask? Um, so that in the long run, you not only earn from the signals, but you also learn how to trade better. So if you require some coaching, we do have uh, Mondays and Wednesdays live Zoom sessions. So on Monday, we do a lot of uh, answering of your questions, market updates, uh, recent economic developments, and trade idea sharing, and like a little bit of group coaching. And on Wednesdays, we do live trading sessions where we trade together live, identify, identify trades together, run through the top process of how to identify trades with the coaches. So this is the best time to ask all your questions, to pick, uh, on, to pick the brains of the coaches on genes to pretty much any trading related questions you might have. So lastly, we have a wide range of analysis here in the Traders Club. If you look at this, um, give me a minute. Okay, yeah, so we have the market watch segment where you have the, the analysis, your trading midday update, your currency analysis, currency watch list, correlation table, all this here that, that helps you with your trading on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have the trading floor section where you can chat, ask your questions. Our coaches will answer you. Our senior traders like Roy, he will answer you your questions. Education videos, um, a lot of all this information, widgets here, FX heat map, charts, data flash where you get uh, news, data faster than what you get from the free resources out there. All this here providing you with the best information, shortcutting your way to trading success. So uh, to join the club, just head over to tradersclub.lcms.com.sg, scroll all the way down. It's only $199 a year, which is less than a dollar a day. So if you're facing any uncertainty in your trading, you need to join this club to get some guidance to your trading immediately. So trading can be lonely, but with a community of coaches, senior traders here to help you, trading can definitely be more enjoyable and profitable. So if you haven't already, make sure you click on the link to join now. I'll pass the time now to Daniel for the currency call. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the morning call uh, today. 
great to see everyone back here again on a Monday. Um, let's look at what happened in the uh, you know past uh, coming week. It's going to happen with related to the Aussie New Zealand. You know before we even look at the charts. So let me get a picture here. Yep, this is not what I want to show you. This is my Facebook account. <laughs> okay, that's the economic calendar here. Yes, okay. So this week, you know, when we look, what's going to happen in the Aussie and New Zealand uh, currencies right now? Let's see. Um, looking at it, today, nothing much. On Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, we have the building consents on... Uh, uh, New Zealand usually not big major big impact but we still work out for it you know previous previously it was 2.1 percent but bear in mind last week we had the New Zealand uh, government imposing the housing uh, market reforms and also there may not be a lot of uh, you know consent coming in from the building consent so we have to make note of this as well the major news was last week so it may impact this news as, uh, coming in. So, so that's why I think I, that's why I thought that it may not be a very major news. Of course, we have US dollar coming at the consumer confidence. You know, we already have last week. You know, the co consumer confidence from the uh, University of Michigan uh, was showing that's pretty good, improving. I won't be surprised if the consumer confidence from this this uh, survey is also equally doing pretty well. Uh, last month, last month was ninety one point three. They are going to forecast ninety seven. Um, I, I think it's going to be probably around there, you know, 96, 97. It's still going to be a very confident, expansionary kind of a very feel good feeling uh, during that point in time for consumer confidence. So overall, US dollars tends to, I think this week, May, on coming to Tuesday, it's going to be still be possible to be strong. Now, Wednesdays, this will be more news on the Aussie and New Zealand. You got the New Zealand uh, business confidence coming in. You got the building approvals from the Australia, Aussie. Uh, Australia uh, coming in as well, coming in. Well, previous month was minus 19.4. They are focusing 3.2 with the opening up of the uh, economy. You know, there is expectation expectation of more approvals coming in, uh, Russia coming in. So I won't be surprised if it's reaching around this number or higher uh, level. So it may slightly increase the Aussie dollar. Now, the other one you will look at is the Chinese Chinese, Chinese manufacturing PMI coming in. And why do I think a look at the Chinese is more PMI is important? Uh, because Aussie, uh, Aussie and China are have a major partnership. You know, China buys a lot of raw materials from Australia. So if the manufacturing PMI is going to be very expansionary, uh, in fact, if it beats 51.0, you would be expecting Aussie dollar to increase because the demand for Aussie dollar may come in. However, do bear in mind that there seems to be some tit and tat uh, relationship between Australia and the China uh, and China right so right now last just last week we were talking about uh, China imposing dump anti-dumping duties on the Australian wines so we're gonna see what's gonna happen there but if taking that out an out and account if again you know we probably on Wednesday could see a slight increase up uh, from the uh, Australian dollar okay and then we have the pound uh, GDP uh, coming in. Uh, we'll talk, talk about it more on the Wednesdays in preparation for this. Uh, we have a lot of CPI data, French CPI data, unemployment change uh, coming in, Euro CPI data coming in. Of course, we have ADP non-farm employment change. A lot of uh, improvements is expected from the US dollar. A lot of good expectation coming in, 525k compared to a previous 117k. And then most importantly as well is the pending home sales. Now pending home sales right now, we are seeing not really very strong in the whole, a uh, lot of home sales uh, target, but I won't be surprised if this will goes to above zero. And then if that, if that happens, you know, then with um, employment change coming in, more people may be looking to buy, uh, buy homes. So this one may, may improve up. We'll have to see how the data goes as well. And then on Thursday, you know, yes, we have the Takan uh, Manufacturing Index, but I don't think there'll be big major news coming in. Nothing really special. A lot of PMI data is coming in. Initial job, jobless claims will come in as well. As you can see, 680K compared to 684, you know, with with coming in of uh, a lot of uh, good news from the US side uh, data, I will be surprised as well. The jobless claims drop uh, slightly as well. 
with manufacturing PMI. How and then on Friday is a Good Friday. So Good Friday, <laughs> a lot of uh, people are not uh, on holiday, especially in the Europe side, US, UK, Swiss, Europe, you know, Canada, all are having a holiday. Um, so I won't think this non-farm payroll here, although it's a major impact, may have been coming in. Uh, really very strongly in impact in the data too too well as well. So coming on Thursday, Friday, it pop the, the activity probably die down uh, later as well. Okay, so this is something to take note uh, of. Now, we, as I said, Aussie USD is coming in, uh, coming in on the Wednesdays where all the building approval and the China manufacturing PMI coming in. Let's look at what could happen uh, coming in to this week. Okay. So let's look at the charts. Okay, so this is Aussie uh, USD. So you could see last week pretty drastically. You know, it expected Aussie did goes up uh, as per what uh, Jin has mentioned last week, and then it drops uh, because of the US uh, strength. Uh, a lot of economic data come in, strengthen up as well, and of course. This was because correlated Aussie USD and New Zealand USD was strongly correlated for the housing market uh, reforms impacting New Zealand dollar drop uh, a lot, co pulling now also the Aussie USD as well. Now, then on Thursday, uh, GDP, USD GDP was very good. So naturally it pushed all the way down and to the support level uh, here at 0 0.7595 and holding on to this. Now, this bot, this support this level has been there, if I show you here, since last year, December, right? It has been supported this level somewhere. So it's very strong uh, coming in. Now, looking, moving forward here, even with the, uh, if you have, have a good Aussie dollar Tuesday, uh, Aussie news, when with the good PMI China news, uh, it may move up a little. Okay, it may move up a little, but however, what I'm looking at right now is not too much movement, maybe, you know, uh, just slight movement upwards before a possible uh, moving across. Okay, more likely it will move across for the whole day, especially when coming to Good Friday coming in and a possible US uh, dollar, um, US dollar strengthening uh, as well uh, with the news. We we'll probably will be looking at moving across between this support zone here and around this level, uh, current level support. So I don't think it will push all the way up. It may be moved a little on Tuesday before coming back down and moving across. Now, what do we see in uh, New Zealand uh, USD? We're probably going to see the same uh, movements here. Uh, you know, really, I, I am still looking at the New Zealand to be continuously to be weak. However, with this strong support now here at 0 0.69, 6942. Uh, we're probably thinking that with a short weekend, uh, short week this week, so we'll probably be most likely be moving across. I don't think it will, uh, it will take a really a strong uh, something extraordinary news to really break through at 0 0.6942 uh, coming down. Okay, so now, now that's why I'm looking for Aussie and New Zealand news. Nothing really special uh, coming in. Okay, if not, if anybody got any questions, just put it up. If not, let me pass it back to Chidwe. Okay, <clears throat> thank you, Daniel. So uh, before you guys leave, I'm just gonna put paste some links in the chat. So yeah, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for our daily recordings, our free forex signals telegram channel. And if you want the faster signal, if you want to learn the strategy behind the signals and enjoy the webinars, trade ideas, daily analysis, and more, visit Traders Club. LCMS.com.sg. Uh, yeah, so this is the end of the session for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the Euro currency analysis. Thank you and goodbye.